What's up fellow collectors? Welcome back. Today might be Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. Guys, still working on that first cup of coffee. Just enjoying myself right now down here in the museum. Just relaxing, enjoying my toys, and more fun offerings from our soldiers of the world World War II, from 1941 to 1945. The Flame Gunner. This is one of my favorite fr figures from my Soldiers of the World collection. Uh, I got this um, figure and many more from the collection of Roberto Ligotti. Roberto Ligotti is a fantastic collector, good buddy of mine, and I purchased a ton of these guys from him. And as you can see, this beautiful Soldiers of the World Flame Gunner uh, package box, everything, figure, it looks like it just came off the toy store shelf. R Roberto does a fantastic job at really preserving his figures, his collectibles. So as an MIB collector, I commend him on this. And this is a figure that didn't garner a lot of attention back in the, the, the late 1990s. I believe this came out in 1997. G.I. Joe was at its full uh, height of uh, popularity and return by that time with the classic collection and all the fantastic uh, figures and lines of toys it was putting out for the 12-inch line for G.I. Joe. Hasbro was really on top of their game back then. But these were in stores as well, in a toy aisle, and um, a lot uh, more times than often, they were overlooked, even by collectors such as myself, who were really zeroed in on G.I. Joe. And I remember saying this to myself, you know, years later, decades later, you know, I just kicked myself because the charm of these figures that was what these figures were all about, you know. They were so charming. They had great outfits, great accessories, great uh, weapons, equipment, as you can see here. We're looking at our flame gunner. Look at, look at the tank here. Look at the detail to the tank. This was a very inexpensive toy when it was released. There's the flame gun here. He's got his pistol. He's got a knife. He's got the cloth covering for the helmet. Great head sculpt. The, the uniforms were fantastic. Beautifully done. I had a collector tell me that, you know, he collects a lot of the soldiers of the world figures for their, their fantastic uniforms. It came with a display display stand included, which is right behind him. Yeah, a lot of the you know the the belt and the canteen and stuff that that was all plastic. You know what do you expect for the price that you were going to get this? At? And this is very inexpensive. You know, the GI Joes were going for nearly thirty dollars or close to it at the time. So I'd say this price was going for about maybe fourteen, fifteen, sixteen dollars at the time. Nineteen ninety seven. But the flame gunner is, is just one of my favorites. I just I love the fact they did a great job. I have a G.I. Joe with uh, the, the flamethrower. But it's something about this one. So you can... I have the G.I. Joes. I have the Falcone figures. I have all those figures. Uh, all those toy lines, 12-inch toy lines. But there's something about the soldiers of the world. Uh, I can't explain it. It's just, I, I, I guess it does just come down to pure charm. The fact that these are inexpensive toys for their time period. And they were well made. Did it cost a lot? No. Were they heavily, heavily detailed? Uh, absolutely not. But they were right there, and, you know, 
the being a the family guy if i had to buy if you know if i didn't have a ton of money and a lot of parents didn't i mean they, they want to buy a, a toy for their kid in the toy toy aisle and you got gi joe at 30 dollars, and then you got soldiers of the world this flame gunner figure for about maybe 15 or 16 bucks you know this figure is going to probably win that battle he's going to win the battle of the dollar especially for a mom that or, or father that, that that's hey trying to make ends meet but they want to you know they want to uh, please their kids at the same time and give get them something a toy beautifully done we have our soldiers of the world uh playlist if you want to check that out we'll be adding this guy to the playlist you can check our collection of soldiers of the war world figures out i'm spoiled now roberto has spoiled me because the entire collection i bought from from him was practically c9 c10 condition that's top top shelf condition so I don't want to buy anything mint in box if it's not mint in box. If you if you understand what that means, basically, if it's if it doesn't look like this, I'm not. I don't want it. I don't want any crushed boxes. I don't want the the window bent or dented or anything. The figures missing pieces of parts inside it. It has to look like this. It's fantastic. Let's turn this box around. Check the back out here. There's a side shot. Oh, beautiful box. Still, vibe, the colors are very vibrant. Okay, I have to hold this a little bit. Look at your bone. Now look here. Back of the box. So, just, so yeah, World War II, 90, 1990, 1941 to 1945. It gives you a little background here. About the war, about the World War II, and about the figure. And here is my favorite part of this box. This is why you know you keep all the boxes, you keep all, you keep everything intact. Collect all the twelve-inch soldiers of the world figures and gear to create action adventures. Let's see if we can find our. Our flame gunner. Is he on here? Ah, there he is. Let's get you a look here. His product and colors may vary. Uh, 1997 from uh, Format Formative International Company Limited. That's who, who created Soldier, Soldiers of the World. Guys, your thoughts, your opinions. We want to hear all of it right in the comment section, right underneath this video. I think over the weekend I'll do a few more Soldiers of the World. We haven't done one in a while. We've been really busy. And, and, and trying to get out different lines of toys here at the museum for all of our viewers and our our fans and the collectors and the subscribers who have their favorite toy you know their favorite toy lines here at the museum. We, we, so we, we're trying to appease everybody. So this was on my mind. This flame gunner was on my mind. So see, let, let, let me do a do a video on this guy and share him with you guys. I, guess I can't say enough about the weapons. I love it. And I love the fact that there's no rubber bands in there. Everything is plastic ties. Or bendy ties. He's locked in there really good, as you can see. He's locked in there really good. A 
love the head sculpt here. Believe our flame gunner is a blonde. Blue eyes there. I love that helmet. I, just, I, lo I love the, the camo. This particular camo design. This pocket stare. There's the boots. Guys, your thoughts, your opinions, you want to hear it all. Let us know in the comment section, guys. More fun on the way. You're in a routine. God bless. Stay safe. And keep collecting.